Yeah, well, I don't know about the longevity, but that's all I ever wanted to do. I mean, I've, I think I've wanted to write songs and make records since I was a sperm. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank goodness I was able to do that so far. And it began in, in uh, late 50s? Is that your first time to walk into a studio? Yes, 57. I was uh, still in high school and uh, made my first record in Nashville uh, at what's now called RCA Studio B. Which is a revered uh, site in Nashville. Music yeah, it's, City. it's sort of a, a relic now. But, uh, <laughs> a lot of great records made there. Absolutely. Is that when you uh, first made the acquaintance of your good friend, uh, Chet Atkins? I think it was. I think I met Chet. Uh, I was living in Atlanta at the time, and uh, I drove up to record here because in Atlanta at that time, there weren't any great studios. And uh, Chet was there. I think he was uh, running RCA, the Nashville office of RCA. I think I met him on that trip. So your first uh, song, uh, I understand, was a hit in Atlanta. Yeah. Silver Bracelet. Uh, is that, uh, that had to be kind of a rush for you as a young performer to actually hear your song on the radio? Oh, yeah. I remember the first time I heard it, though, the disc jockey introduced me as Ray Peterson. <laughs> and uh, I think I got introduced as Ray Price a few times, but they finally got it right, I think, down the road a little bit.